I mean, Larry and I had a lot of conversations the last couple of days about, you know, what you know, what do you want to do in the second half of your life, and like what what's you know, and some of it is doing these sort of things and just staying connected to young people and maybe just throwing one little positive nugget out there. This week, some pretty notable Montana athletes attached their names to a youth sports camp in Hardin. For us, it was it wasn't a matter of you know just having our Hardin Hardin guys work with when we have someone of that caliber like Larry and um, Jeff you know you kind of want to, the whole community to be involved or the reservation for us and so we brought in area teams and you know area guys and stuff so. about a dozen teams came in to work on fundamentals sharpening their skills during the off season I mean I, I would have loved to have had something like this when I was a kid where there's like 10 15 teams from the region getting together in the middle of the summer I think it I think it re-engages them with the Plan again keeps it keeps it going. But in addition to mechanics, the coaches and speakers here wanted to encourage these young athletes beyond the hardwood. They spent time talking about discipline off the court, essentially how to win in the game of life. Countless people along the way, little even chance meetings that we don't have time to discuss, but that made a difference. And so whether it was at the skate park yesterday, you know, helping some young kids or kind of flipping the light switch uh, or out here on the basketball court, that's it's an honor to be able to do that. I remember, I've heard things when I was a seventh grader at a camp, I don't remember the whole camp, but I remember maybe a sentence from a coach told me something, you know, and I took that and kept it with my life and that helped build a foundation for me to start playing basketball and stuff. The game of basketball brought together Mike, Larry and Jeff 20 plus years ago. It opened up a door to friendship and camaraderie. And if nothing else, they want to pass that opportunity along to these young men and women. I mean, that's kind of what life's all about is those, those exchanges and those experiences and <laughs> laughing and learning something along the way. And um, it's cool. They're doing good things here in Harden.